I once did something called an AMA on a website called Reddit. AMA stands for Ask Me Anything, and well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. People can write in and ask any question they like. I didn't know what Reddit was, but my son said it was a pretty big deal on the internet, and so I hoped I could tell some stories to the people on the Reddit site. My son said it could also help raise some money to send kids to summer camp, and I thought that was a fine idea. Is there anything better than going to summer camp? I remember when I first went to summer camp. This was well before things like Reddit, before every kid had all of television and the entire internet in their pants' pocket. Why, back when I went to summer camp, if you didn't catch something on TV or at the movies the first time, well, you'd just be left out of all the references and jokes. Nowadays, they call jokes memes, and you're never more than a click away from being in on the joke, in on the meme. I guess that's a good thing. Kids aren't excluded from sharing the fun, but maybe there's something lost there, too. Maybe you lose the chance for your imagination, with a little help from a storyteller, to paint a picture that's even better than the original. Well, back at Sunny Lake Summer Camp, there was one kid, Johnny Doherty. Well, Johnny Doherty had seen every movie there ever was, and he remembered them, too. We'd all sit up after lights out, listening to Johnny Doherty. He liked the war pictures, like Bridge on the River Kwai. He'd say, You give me powders, pills, baths, injections, enemas, when all I need is love. And we would laugh and laugh and laugh. We didn't know what an anima was, but we knew it was funny. And how can I forget the rather purient interest we would all show when he would describe the moment in Rear Window, when Jimmy Stewart's character watched the woman across the alley put on her bra and dance across the screen in her underwear. Well, I'm not even going to get into how that plays out differently now that young boys have the internet, but I don't think it's for the better. Johnny Doherty was a real treasure. Aside from him, the only news we got were things like Billy Parker's mother telling about how the dog found some deer droppings and had to get hosed down again. I suppose the closest image you can get of the power of a great storyteller is when C-3PO captivates the Ewoks with tales of adventure in Return of the Jedi. Just like those fuzzy little fellas, the boys at Sunny Lake Summer Camp revered Johnny Doherty, hanging on his every word. For us, the storyteller broke those moments of tedious monotony at camp. For an 11-year-old boy, any moment you're not doing something of great significance and excitement is a moment of utter boredom, a wasted moment that pains you to the quick. And that goes double after bedtime. Sure, the camp activities were great fun, but it was those moments of boredom that made camp so special. We'd have to find ways to entertain ourselves, and that usually brought us closer together. I'm not sure if kids still get that on the Reddit websites. I think it's real important for them to go off into the woods once in a while, go beyond the shadow of the cell phone tower and get bored for a bit, have the time to find out who they are and what it's like to connect with each other. And who knows, maybe they'll bump into somebody like Johnny Doherty and discover the magic that a great storyteller can weave when you lend him your imagination. Boy, I sure hope so.